it's Dara and I am in Lisbon Portugal I arrived last night and oh it was such a Neptunian trip from my Neptune Chiron line in Greece I was on the island of Mykonos I got myself to Athens I met the beautiful gorgeous talented sparkly um, just exuding love Barbara Goldsmith our astrologer extraordinaire here on YouTube and what a sparkly time I loved Athens I had such a good time and I was also hi Seagal I was also knowing that I was headed out to Lisbon I finally made it out of Neptune I navigated the waters I floated I swam I trusted I found treasures just it was a gorgeous experience i learned to love neptune i learned to know how to navigate neptune and it was also time to go it was very hard to get out of the waters it was like really like i had to like pull myself out and on the way to lisbon i <laughs> realized i met barbara that morning and i realized that i was doing a stopover she said oh it should only be three four hours to get to Lisbon and I remembered seeing my ticket information and it was like eight hours and I had a stopover and she said you didn't need to have the stopover and I said of course I made the plans while I was underwater trying to get out reaching up for the air trying to get some some air above sea and I and I booked this flight and the magical thing and I know when that happens that it's going to be a magical experience Something is there for me. When I make a mistake like that, there is some juiciness to it or some reason for it. And it turned out to not be a mistake, as our mistakes usually are not mistakes. And on the second part of the trip, um, I was on the flight from Madrid. It was a stopover in Madrid to Lisbon. And I literally had a time travel experience. Like somehow my eyes were shut and I was in a time and place where my mother and my grandmother were still alive because my mother had said to me, let's do something really nice for grandma. And then I started thinking of the ways we could have a party for her with purple things because she loved purple. And then I opened my eyes and I was like, what? I was there, like it was so real. And I was like, hmm, I wanna throw a party for grandma, but I can't, but can I? Can I do something for grandma now? And then I was like, hmm, they're trying to give me a message. And I heard, we want you to laugh. And wouldn't you know it, on that flight, there were people laughing and it was it wasn't even a dream Karen I was awake like I wasn't sleeping I was awake but my eyes were closed and I was in that time when my grandma was still alive and my mom was alive so I did I heard these this mother daughter laughing they were ahead of me in one um one row and I just kept hearing them laugh really loud and I was trying to read and at first I was kind of annoyed like ah oh, they're so loud and then all of a sudden I was like they're laughing the entire trip so the message was laughter laughter and my mom used to say there was a period in my life where I wasn't giggling it was a hard period in my life and she's like you don't giggle I want to hear you giggle and she always said my giggle was infectious so the loud message was like laughter giggle laughter giggle and those people were laughing the whole time and then I was like, that's so great. And then, um, yeah, I was gifted Jupiter style. I had this, it was like Neptune into Jupiter. It was probably when I was flying into, um, into more Jupiter, I was gifted with a whole row of seats. Um, and it was a beautiful experience. And when I got to, I made, um, I landed in Madrid and I had like 10 minutes to run on winged feet. I had these little copper sandals on and I was running to make my flight. And I made the flight, but my bag didn't make the flight. So when I got to Lisbon, my bag was nowhere to be found. And I had a long uh, time waiting to talk to someone and finding the bag. And I knew I wasn't gonna have my bag that night. And it didn't matter. I was like, it's okay. I have everything I need in my backpack. and. I'll get the bag. I was still floating, really. And um, the bag got delivered today, and then I um, had done a reading for someone, and he was in Lisbon, so he invited me out to lunch. So we went to lunch where I found out that he was extremely funny, and I was laughing almost the whole time. So I, I'm getting the laughter, I'm getting the blessings, I'm getting the gifts of Jupiter, because if nothing else, Jupiter gives gifts, opportunities, gifts in the form of people, gifts 
and expansion in the form of people and opportunities and joy. So I am looking forward to that. And if it's happening, um, I'm already feeling more like with it, like I can think I just had a meeting on the phone, it went well, there was like clarity. And so I feel like I'm more on my game. Um, I operate well on the Jupiter line. That's the line I live on in California. So if any of you are interested in your lines, the Astro Geography course is so easy, it shouldn't even be called a course. And everyone needs to know how to do theirs. So you can know what energies you're swimming in, learn how to navigate, float back if need be. Um, so I wanted to tell you that I am in Lisbon. I'm gonna show you where this is, this beautiful Airbnb. Look. The buildings are tiled. This building is tiled. And so charming. I'm going to take you for a little tour. Her touches are just so. I love them. Algarve, that's a place in Portugal where I'm going to go. Look. I think you can see it. I'm going to do a video where I show my clothes and the things that I brought with me. Isn't this just lovely? I unpacked. So there we are. Do you guys have any questions? I just wanted to say hi and tell you I'm, I'm on a whole new line. Let's see if you have anything that you were saying. It's beautiful, right? Yes, it's the sea beyond the buildings. The sea isn't far, the river. Um, you'll, you'll be at a Mars midheaven and a Venus. You should have. Aww. Which gave you goosebumps? Oh, it's like a lucid dream. It's like, I couldn't describe it. And then someone on Instagram said that it is um, time travel. It literally felt like time travel. Like I was all of a sudden transported to a time where it was actually, that's what was going on. It wasn't dreamy. It was just like messages. Like, okay, let's do something nice for grandma. And um, I wanted to go back. So maybe I'll be able to go back. And maybe the gift of Neptune is that I did get some extra mediumship or extra gifts. I think I was being rewarded for floating as much as I did. I came to some amazing realizations through trusting um, when I was on the Neptune line. I really um, just really found what made me happy and what made my spirit happy. And it's being free and it's not being scheduled and it's sharing and it really is my job to keep myself happy because when I'm happy, everything works out. Yes, a beautiful gift from Neptune and Chiron on my way out of the Neptune line. Isn't that just extraordinary to be able to feel my mother and my grandmother? Hi, I make you happy, aw. I still remember the baby durian that you left on my doorstep swaddled with a little pacifier in its mouth. <laughs> a durian dressed up like a baby. So yay, Jupiter! Um, I survived and thrived and navigated Neptunian waters. I gave up. I didn't push. I didn't work hard. I tried working. It didn't work. I just surrendered and said, okay, what's, what's in store? You mentioned that your grandma loved purple on Instagram and one of the bedrooms of your Airbnb has purple bed covers. I gotta go look again. And guess, when I was on Instagram telling everybody how I was at first annoyed by the women laughing, I mean, they were laughing so loud the whole time. I was trying to read my book. And then while I was telling it on Instagram, that story, someone on the street was laughing. So you heard little laughter behind me. So like laughter is the big message. Joy, laughter, um, giggles being happy, that's what they want of me. And really, if you guys remember when I did that session with Bill, I don't know if any of you were there. I think it lived on Facebook Live at the time. Um, 
we got to my genius and my genius is being able to make myself happy. And when I make myself happy, I get to live in a world of my design. And if I'm not happy, I really feel like it's felt for like miles and miles around. And when I'm happy, it can be felt for miles and miles around. And the good that I do when I'm happy is uh, extremely expansive. And when I'm not happy, it's extremely contracted and nothing seems to work. So it all shifted for me. And I have a little talisman. I have a little charm from the moment it shifted. I was really kind of like very frustrated on Mykonos and feeling just like I couldn't be independent and I couldn't find my way and I wasn't connecting in the way I wanted and so I was like I gotta get out of here and I booked this whole trip to get home to Venice and the day came when I was supposed to travel and I was tired and I looked stressed and all of a sudden I was like I don't want to travel like this I don't want to end this beautiful trip racing to get home stressing only having a number of hours in Athens not being able to see Barbara Goldsmith so I an hour before they were supposed to pick me up I canceled the whole thing and the second I did that I was like let's go have a nice lunch and we had this beautiful lunch Layla and I I was walking by we were trying to get to one tavern but we passed this one where the energy of these people just I felt it. I was like, they're beautiful. Can we eat here? And then the food was made with such love. I could see when the food was delivered to our table and presented, I was like, oh, oh, there is love vibrating from this food. So Layla went off to teach her yoga at Scorpio's and I went to go talk to somebody at the restaurant to say, what, what's going on? Like this food was the most delicious food. I feel the love you guys care and he said yes we do and he showed me a picture on the wall of his wife his baby his father his grandfather and his grandfather had started uh nicholas tavern taverna and he was running it and his father and he went to fish in the morning and they grew the vegetables in their own garden and it was extraordinary like it was like eating love being in a place who cared staying in this little room um, that had been gifted to me instead of staying at the hotel where I was disconnected from like the life and the heartbeat of the island and as soon as I could feel the heartbeat and know that I could stay somewhere more connected to the people in the place I instantly fell in love with Mykonos and would happily go back doing it my way doing it the way that feels right to me so every place can be right. Every planetary line can have nutrients and energies for us. It's learning how to navigate. So as we go along and as I Astro Geo travel, I'm going to be sharing how to best, how I deal with the lines, how I navigate them, how I love them, how I take the benefits and the nutrients that are there to be offered and take them, learn, navigate, and move on. So that's what we're gonna be doing all together. Um, Let's see if there's any comments. I look different, softer. That's nice. Daria in Russian, we needed to see you happy. <laughs> I'm glad you're flying, it's true. I'm glad you're flying with your inspiration as a light. Snowflake, but in summertime. Thank you, Marina. Oh, you're getting magic from them. That's so nice. Which family is that? The Ka Sundance family. That's lovely. I'm going to go look for the purple. Oh, so Cheryl, your mom went to Lisbon a lot. Oh, you can't see me. I'm so... John G. Oh, you guys, Bridget and everybody. Um, I feel different here. I feel like, okay... I got like washed by Neptune, I got the magic of Neptune, and now I just feel like there's just, I, I feel like there's magic to be made. And Barbara Goldsmith told me, she's like, you are a magician. You're the magician in the tarot card, and the tarot card, and I feel that. So I'm back to my magic. I'll be able to be more prolific with uh, messages and work and and communicating than I was on a Neptune line. I literally felt like I'd speak and then maybe somebody couldn't hear me or see me. <laughs> it really actually literally happened. So I was at this hotel and my friend Layla was there. Hey Sarah. So Layla was there and she saw me go order a juice from the bar and I asked for a celery, spinach, lemon with a little bit of apple juice. And as I walked away I'm like he's not making it. 
I just could tell he wasn't making the juice. And I saw him make other people drinks. And I'm like, yeah. And Layla goes, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. He didn't make the juice. So she's like, let me go see. So she marches over there and she says, my friend ordered a juice. And she was working with these people. She knew all of them. And he said, oh, okay, I'll make it. And she said, can you bring it to her? So he comes out and he was outside of the bar and it was before he made it. And he goes, well, where is she? And he goes, she's standing right there. Like I was right in front of him and he couldn't even like register that I was the one who ordered the drink and that I was the one he was gonna bring it to. It was like, he thought, he's like, where is she over there? And he, he, she was like, she's right there in front of you. <laughs> so that's Neptune. That's just the art of if you wanna disappear and be in the collective unconscious and feel the feels and float back, excellent place to float. My friend Matthew today, who if you go to my Instagram stories, you'll see him. He made me laugh, laugh, laugh today. That's another thing that's been gifted to me is that upon waking up, Matthew and I connected and he said, come to lunch. And of course, he made me laugh the whole time. So he said a great saying, Neptune is like, he goes, is it kind of like being in Vipassana at the end of yoga? It's Vipassana when you just lie back on the floor and you just... <laughs> I said, it's like that. It's like a permanent Vipassana. And I made Barbara laugh when I said, it's like being in perma, permanent Mercury retrograde. <laughs> we just can't communicate clearly. So I'm out and I can communicate. So it feels incredibly bright. So I'm gonna go for a walk in Lisbon and I'm in the Alfama district, which is an old charming district and see what I can see. And I'm gonna pay attention to, um, gifts and opportunities and magic to be made and I hope you're following on Instagram. I hope you know your astro geography. I hope you take the course because it is um, life changing to know where you're swimming. And if you can't move, you can still do the course and learn where to travel to. And if you can't travel, you can still learn what, think about this, somewhere on this planet, you can manifest love, recognition for what you're doing so it's kind of like feng shui of the planet like there's place there's a place for you for love and if you find out where it is and you want more venusian energy then you look to one of your venus lines you pick a place that appeals to you you start looking at the imagery from that place you listen to the music from that place you eat the food you wear the textiles you have an object in front of you by your bedside from that place that will help you harness, bring in, and open the portal to that kind of energy that exists for you. Just because you're living on one line doesn't mean that other energies aren't available to you. They are, and I believe that we can bring them in by focusing our energies, communicating with somebody on the line that has something that we need more of in our lives. Because we just might be overdosed in one energy. Like, I, I, I've had it, Neptune, I got a big heavy dose, and now I'm gonna be in Jupiter. But who knows, living on my Jupiter line all those years, maybe I needed dousing from Neptune to relax and surrender and, and um, be lost a little bit. I got lost and then I got found. I'm in hilly Lisbon, lots of stairs, find the elevator. I'm um, three or four flights up. <laughs> and there's hills everywhere, which is really good for my legs. We are with you. Thanks for sharing your light so freely. Thank you, Bridget. So big hugs. Hey, Karen, I will see you guys soon, very soon. Lots of love from my Jupiter Midheaven line. It's gonna be fun to see like how that um, shows itself because there's an outdoor elevator. <laughs> Please people, leave some more likes for Dara. That's so sweet, Marina. I love likes and hearts and likes and comments. Um, it shows me to still keep showing up on YouTube, right? Um, the air smells like flowers right now. It's, it smells like flowers. I'm gonna see you guys soon. By the way, the Midheaven, Jupiter is expressing itself with gifts and opportunities and magic and sparkliness and um, abundance, joy, faith, faith, and then it's on the midheaven, so Jupiter is expressing itself from me out, and then how it's received is through society, career, how the world sees you and interacts with you back. So you put out the energy, and depending on which angle the planet is on, it shows which 
area of life the planet is expressing itself so it really should be through you guys i'm expressing my joy and faith and optimism and it will come back to me through my family through society let's see thank you for the likes i see them the elevator goes to different street levels so that'll be fun let me go see if i can have them pop up and down the hills it'll be so good i need the exercise uh after flying all day big hugs that santa justa i will look for it 